Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another mixing tutorial. Today we are not actually looking at mixing, we are looking at some mastering stuff. And what I want to do today is I want to take a master that I've done and I want to compare it to the Logic Master Bus presets that you can open uh, on your track when you want to send it out as a demo to a friend. Now, I do want to say right off the get-go that I do not believe that using a preset Logic or any preset DAW mastering chain is the solution in today's world. I think in order to make sure that your mixes can translate on multiple systems, you need to send your stuff to a professional master engineer who is going to give an, an objective listen, which is really important. That's the first thing and also help guide you through uh, the sending process and the bouncing out process. And you send it to someone who's knowledgeable about um, the right level that it needs to peak out on for certain platforms uh, and everything like that to make sure that your music is heard properly over multiple systems. So today's demo is purely gonna be about tonality and listening to what the, some different very popular Logic Master buses sound like compared to each other. Um, so let's dive into the session and we can carry on. I do just quickly want to say as well, thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, we are sitting on 45 subscribers as opposed to I think 38 from the last time I shot one of these videos. So thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Um, I've put about three or four uh, videos out since then uh, and they've been really well received. So thank you so much. If you have not yet subscribed, please go do that now. Uh, I really appreciate it and it really helps grow this channel. Thanks so much. Let's get into the session. Okay, so um, if you look at the session, this first uh, track up here is uh, Master V2. This is a master that I've done uh, already, so there's no plugins on this um, on this bus. And then the unmastered audio here has only got a limiter just to make sure it doesn't peak, uh, but there's no uh, tonality change. So this is the audio I was sent before it was mastered. And then I've got these three buses here, or these three channels here. So this first one is the Pop Master. Um, presets. Uh, so what I've done is I just put it up over here. So I'm just going to reset this quickly. I've put it up uh, over here factory and I've chosen one of these and then I've just dragged those plugins across uh, to a stereo channel. That's just going to make it much easier to just compare these without having one uh, chain on the master bus. So uh, I've got the pop master preset, the harp master preset and the hip hop master preset, which uh, apparently are the most popular ones. So um, just to get acquainted with the audio that we're working with. Uh, this is a track that was produced by Andrew Sutton uh, for one of his clients that I ended up mastering. So uh, let's play it and you guys can just listen to the chorus section of the song. Okay, so that's the master that I did. Um, if you guys want to compare it to what it came from, uh, I'm going to play it and then I will solo uh, the unmastered version so you guys can know what I got sent and uh, what it ended up doing. So I'll just do that quickly. Okay, so it's also important for me to say that I have level matched all of these masters because if one track is louder than the other, uh, it's going to sound to you guys like, oh, that one's obviously the better one, uh, but it might not be. It might just be louder. So I have level matched all of these masters. So if you do hear a discrepancy in volume, what you're actually hearing is a discrepancy in perceived volume and perceived width. Um, so even though it, all the, the DAWs might be peaking at the same level, a good master is going to give you that extra volume, uh, which a mastering chain, a preset master chain might not give you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and play this audio and I'm going to solo through the unmastered version, the pop master, the harp master and the hip hop master. Um, and I'm, every time I'm going to solo, it, every time a channel solo, you'll be obviously be hearing that channel. And then when I unsolo, you'll be hearing my master again briefly and then I'll solo the next channel. Um, so I'll let them play for a couple of seconds and then uh, yeah, you guys can get an understanding of what the tonality of uh, each of these mastering chains is um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how to set them up.
Okay, so there you could hear the difference between all the different masters from my one to the unmastered to the preset. So, uh, of course, you have to be wearing good headphones or, or good monitors to, well, not good headphones, just any headphones, no, don't use a phone speaker, um, to hear the difference in uh, all three or, sorry, all five tracks. Um, so yeah, I want to know in the comment section below uh, which one you guys preferred. You don't have to say mine. Of course, if you want to say one of the others, that's totally up to you. Mastering, a lot of the tonality about mastering uh, is all to do with preference. Um, it is just important to uh, know the mechanics behind setting it up. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a couple of tips quickly on how to set up uh, your own mastering stuff. Again, I do want to reiterate, this is not a full solution if you're uploading your music onto YouTube or Spotify uh, or Instagram or anything. I do really recommend that if you want it to be taken seriously, you send it to a proper mastering engineer or you do some proper research and learn the craft of mastering yourself um, because the level discrepancies and the and the, the limiting and the LUFS levels and stuff is really important and that's not something uh, you can get through a mastering preset. So let me show you guys how to set up some uh, mastering chains in Logic. So what we can do is uh, if we go over here to our output one and two, we can go to settings and under factory, this is where we will be able to pull up all the different um, all the different chains. You'll just click on that and then it will uh, load onto your your main uh, two bus, which means everything that you send through Logic, every instrument, every vocal take, whatever, will go through that mastering bus. I do recommend that you do this uh, at the end of your of your session. So if you've created and composed a song uh, and you've given it a basic mix, I recommend that you mix not through the mastering chain. So mix with nothing on and then add stuff later because if you mix with stuff on uh, and then you take all that stuff off to send it to a mastering engineer because uh, you have to actually take all your mastering chain and stuff off before you send that that song off to be mastered you might find that your mix will change drastically once you remove those plugins from your master bus. so i recommend that the only time you use a preset master bus and the time to put it on is when you're finished and happy with how the song sounds with nothing on the master bus and then you might want to just make it a little bit louder and maybe a little bit fatter or whatever uh, brighter whatever these other master chains are doing so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed that video um yeah it's a mastering is a, is a really tough topic um to cover and i just wanted to show you guys some tonality differences and kind of do a bit of a shootout between my mastering and and the work i put into doing it and then some of the preset stuff that you guys can do uh, at home i'm also sorry that i didn't cover any of the stuff in ableton uh, i'm not actually sure if ableton has any presets uh mastering chains but i mean the same thing would apply if you had to you know have someone else set up a mastering chain for you or whatever and save that channel strip uh, that would be the same thing you would just put that on once you're happy with the mix. So thanks so much for watching guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this video. Comment below which one of the uh, versions you like most, the pop master, the half master or the hip hop master. And uh, yeah, and then comment if you have any other questions on how to do uh, mastering stuff at home and I'll reply to those comments. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.